Hello guys, welcome back to the crew. We are still at the Mount Rushmore Summit Qualifier for uh, the 4th one for April 2016. We have a speed trap here where you have to use a circuit spec. As you can see already here, 491.2 kilometers is the top time or the top average speed set here. Uh, well, the name is not loading immediately, but I can tell you right here and right now that that guy is a cheater. Uh, in the previous qualifier, the guy, we had to do a jump skill where uh, you could use a track car, and that guy was flying all over the place like an airplane. So, uh, I don't believe that he's genuine. But nevertheless, the um, top times are pretty high and that's because most of these things are done in a crew and I will show you why. I have a top speed of uh, 434 km an hour average done with Darius last night. Uh, so, and I will show you that uh, I'm not going to come anywhere near if you do this by yourself or solo, but I will give it a go anyway. What I'm going to use is uh, the fastest bike that I have, top speed wise that is. BMW has a good handling but only does 420, 425, something like that. Um, so I'm going for the Ninja which can do 442 km an hour if you uh, use Nitro and lean forward at the same time. But I will show you the route that I use. Although I lose a bit of time between checkpoint 3 and 2 but... So at the start I will go to the left and drive towards the end of the street to come back for number 3 which will be my first uh, time checkpoint that I'm going to pass. I am leaning forward here to get as much time as possible because uh, it is, especially if you do this solo, this route is kinda uh, sharp on time so uh, you don't have much time left. So somewhere on the buses here at the end of the thing you drive uh, around, you turn around, lean forward. Just be careful with the jumps if you lean forward because sometimes the bike can start doing um, stunts. So I'm saving the nitro, I'm still leaning forward, I will be keeping leaning forward and I'm gonna hit the nitro here somewhere as at the same time when I'm leaning forward to try to get speed here of what it is 408. Keep on driving, uh, I'm going to left here. This is a point where I kind of lose some time because I have to go around and around and around but yeah, well, it is a pretty decent route though. We go left here again and then the second one left again to go for number two. Meanwhile, uh, the nitro bar should be refilled by the time you get there. We go left here on the garages, boxes, leaning forward, sort of get in the middle of the road, and go for number two. Once you come close, you hit the nitro, and so that's how it goes. Three ninety-one. Uh, well, can do better by myself, but nevertheless, we turn right. We turn right again, and now you need to get as much speed as possible because this is a double checkpoint timer. You will run into number 5 first and then you will encounter number 1. See what I can do here, 370 or something by myself. Still leaning forward, using all the nitro I get. Too, too, uh, too slow though, but nevertheless. So we go for number 1. We dive in under the bridge here to the left. We go left again here. Meanwhile, the nitro bar or nut bar is filling up again. And we hit the nitro here because this is number four. If you can do this with the crew, you can keep on driving because you can get more speed but I will not uh, be back in time. You can get more speed on number 4 if you come from this side. If you do sharp driving with the crew going this route, you can get more speed if you go that way. I've tried different routes, but then you uh, won't be able to get it time-wise at the end. 
So uh, what did I do? I haven't looked. Um, 2D times. 389 .7. That's ordered it that you can do. 390, 395 if all goes right. It's the average that you can do for this speed trap. Um, let's retry. That is by yourself. If you use, if you're in a crew with two or three other players, you can give each other a draft or slipstream, and you do a few runs. So first, um, you give one person slipstream on all the checkpoints. You do another run, and then they give you a slipstream, and so on. So I'm, I'm already leaning forward here to uh, gain as much time as I can, but I leave the nitro bar B because I'm going to save that. I'm doing over 300 kilometers an hour here, so uh, going back. You can also go back here somewhere on the bridge, I think. Don't think you have to go back to the end because it won't matter that much. We have enough time to get speed towards number three, so. Uh, you can also turn around at the start and go for 1 and 5 first and then come back for 2 or something. Uh, there are different routes possible. But this is a good, you can get a good speed here over 400 km an hour, that's for sure. And then you have to dive into the left here and hope for the best. I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible to see if I can come back for number 4 or not. So I'm leaning forward wherever I can, I'm not touching the nitro because I'm saving those as much as I can for the uh, for the checkpoints or the time points. This point the faster uh, you can get the bike straight, the more speed you will have. That's more like it, also 400, I had 390 in the previous run, I think. Going to try to take this corner a bit better. And already leaning forward so I can get, because it's this is the, the tricky point on this route, it's number 5. You cannot get much speed here, this way. At least I got... Uh, 370 something 395 well I got 40 seconds left might be good enough to come back once more for number 4 but to be sure I'm gonna use the nitro though 385, doing 392 kilometers average. I guess I have to turn around here. Maybe then I can make it, but I don't think so. Nope, you cannot make it by yourself going uh, uh, to number 4 again. As you can see. But still, solo, I did 390 two kilometers an hour. Just to show you that you need a crew here because with a crew and uh, it's not far from perfect because we only did a few runs uh, last night when eventually Darius showed up but I almost had to go so uh, we quickly did a speed trap, we quickly did a crew time attack so those are not sharp times yet. But I managed to do a 434 average uh, with only one person if you can do this with uh, a crew of four you can get more slipstream, more draft, higher scores, going 450, 455, 460 something. But solo, it's going to be hard to get over 400 kilometers an hour by yourself. Anyway, quick look on the uh, speed trap event that is needed for this qualifier. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.